Is making your own turbo or intake manifold worth it? We're gonna find out. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Matt and follow me on Instagram here. Let's go ahead and continue working on this manifold and we'll get everything figured out. I think the first thing I need to do is just go ahead and cut some runners. We'll see how that works out. I'm either going to kind of cut it maybe at an angle or just right here straight so I can mount this up here. I think that will solve our issue with it hitting the brake lines. This is still plenty of plenum volume. So let's make this happen. Let's get after it. mocked up I ended up just making the runners four inches long and I think that will suit and the horsepower will come in at a higher rpm but fitment wise I think this is the best solution check this out she's looking pretty good so I've got the plenum flange just kind of holding everything together I'm going to tack these runners in and then we'll just make sure they're nice and straight by putting it on the belt sander. Then we'll tack the plenum in along with the throttle body flange and we'll see how everything fits up. We got her all nice and tacked up. Now I just need to level this out because there is a little bit of an angle on these runners just because of how the design is and we just need to we just need to get rid of these two high peaks right there in the center so it's nice and level once we put our flange on or our plenum okay we got it nice and flush everything's fitting up pretty awesome it's looking pretty good nice and seated and they all flow really nicely into one another so i'm going to tack that up real quick and then we'll move forward after many hours of cutting, welding, crying, cutting myself, <laughs> we finally have something that looks like an intake manifold. Check this out. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We got our end cap on. Everything's all nice and tacked up. This has gone on and came off the car many times, and this is what I've finally arrived at. So she's looking pretty good. Let's toss her on the car one last time just to check our fitment before we start finally welding this thing up. Let's go. There she is. Everything's clearing quite nicely. Got plenty of room for an elbow to come up in here. We're clearing the brake lines. All I have to do is extend this a little bit just to get over to right here, in which I could probably just cut this, make it look a little cleaner kind of pull this up underneath our map sensor. I'm thinking I might just put it over here at the end. Kind of keep it nice and clean. So everything is clearing quite nicely. So let's go ahead and weld this bad boy up. Yes, let's do it. There goes nothing.
Yeah. Sorry, Jacob. You're getting hungry! Okay. <laughs> oh, that one's sticking. Yeah, because it's from your nose also. Yes. <laughs> It is yet another day. We're going to continue to work on the intake manifold. I've been trying everything I can. Unfortunately, this welder just does not want to punch through. I'll probably just have to get something. It's a little bit better than this thing over here because it's just not cutting the mustard. But in the meantime, I think what I'm going to do is take... But in the meantime, what I think I'm going to do is take some of this flat bar, I'm gonna double stack it, weld it up. I think the welder will do just fine with this. That way we can have three ports, one for our map sensor, one for our brakes, the other for the emission stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. There's gonna be a point in time when you realize your abilities and the equipment that you have just isn't cutting it, and that's been the case with this manifold. But I met this nice gentleman, or, or found him heading out to get some supplies for my business, and saw him driving down the street. I got his number, called him up. Nice man, nice older man, been in business for a long time, knows what he's doing, asked him if he could finish welding up my intake, and he did. I'll leave his information here, just in case you guys want to use his services, he finished it for me and he knocked it out of the park. Check this out. So what I had him do is I had him finish welding up the runners and he did a fantastic job. The man obviously knows what he's doing. I did have these welded decent, but he went back over it, cleaned it up, made it look a lot nicer. That's for me sticking the tungsten in there, but you can tell where he kind of cut out some of the, the old welds that I had on there and he did a pretty darn good job on this thing. So it's coming along nicely. We're just about finished. All I have to do is I weld this plate on here. I just need to tap this for my vacuum lines. I'll need to come in here and just kind of clean up these injector bungs where the welding kind of penetrated just a little bit. Not that big of a deal. And I'll have to flatten out some of these sections here where the bolts for the intake, you know, that holds the intake down. We'll just go ahead and we'll flatten that out, grind it, or we might just get some different bolts that'll actually work with it. Aside from that, I'm gonna put this on the belt sander and kind of clean up this flange. I'll use a wire brush to clean up some of the, the welds. Give this thing a brush look. It's looking pretty good. Really didn't punch through any spots in this manifold, so this nice, clean transitions. Same here for the kind of bell mouth runners. So it's looking pretty good. We're almost there. One of the last things I have to do is drill a hole for this map sensor, tap a hole for the screw here, and then tap a couple places for vacuum ports. So let's get after There's a, there's a brush, a wood clamp <laughs> to help make the Harbor Freight clamp work. What do you think? All the power tools. Can I get a thumbs up? We got Jordan in the house. He's helping out with the project. He's kind of doing a, a finishing hone on the intake over there. 
And we're just working on getting this thing buttoned up, but we'll bring you along for the ride. Let's do it. The manifold's finally finished. Check this out. In conclusion, I think making your own turbo manifold is a lot of fun, a lot of hard work, and it's awesome getting buddies involved. If there's not an intake for your car, obviously you'll have to make one, but it also just depends on your skills. My skills are, you know, we made it happen with a little bit of help. Totally worth it though. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of how the, <laughs> how the intake came out down in the comments. Until next time, peace out with you peace out.